we all have a collective responsibility to create health and well-being and I think that's quite a novel and creative approach. I felt incredibly humbled and privileged. I actively um, go out and get the views of people. I'd like to see myself as a role model. I'm really passionate about the NHS. I'm really passionate about um, what we can achieve and making a difference. I think the reasons for the nomination were the innovative approach that we took to access a difficult to access group of young males aged 19 to 45. Very fortunate that we have a culture at South Manchester that's open and honest. I was able to inspire new people to come on board and to take leadership roles. We have a quite a business focus while maintaining a support and caring ethos as well. I get people working together for a common purpose around that real focus which is getting the best for patients. Uh, I, I was able to use the skills I've acquired in leadership over the years to, uh, to, to collaborate to, uh, to get the research off the ground. And I've had the benefit, uh, the luck really, to be um, uh, shepherded through my journey by a number of outstanding individuals. So you can relate each and every day to the experiences that patients are going through. The five-year strategy that I've worked on and the, the building plans are all focused on giving a better patient experience. I think my success as a leader is down to having a clear vision of what I need to achieve. And as a consequence, I think, you can really mobilise the hearts and minds of many. As the healthcare demands increase, we need to look at alternative ways of delivering care and make sure that the governance and the accountability and all those formal things which the public quite rightly want to see done properly are there. Leading by example across the wider footprint. You can't really add any more to that really, you know.